morning pipers so i thought i'd come on and do a video as i've got a day off from the uh, real job not the pipe making the job that pays the bills as we're working away this week so we've got a day off today before we go back to bother uh, i have started a commission today which is always exciting so whilst i'm just waiting for a few bits to dry on that i am having a pipe break with my buddy Life of bloody Riley, that dog. The smoking OGS oh, yes. it's 2018, so a few years on it. Top three tobacco. Got so many top three tobaccos, it's like top 20, but yeah, it's, it's up there as definitely one of my favourite tobaccos. Just just faultless, just just fantastic quality Virginia. Smoking it in one of my pipes, the humbug for obvious reasons. Some nice grain on there. Lovely little pipe. Uh, whilst I'm on here, just like to thank Ichiban Dipper for showing off his poker that he recently bought off me. Lots of kind words and just a just an absolute gent of a guy. Uh, known Ross quite a while now from his cigar days or my cigar days before we're piping. So uh, an honour to have him have one of my pipes and. Uh, I'll drop the link if you don't already follow him, I'm sure you do. Drop the link in the bucket below. And the other one is Warwickshire Piper, Johnny, for a lovely little video he's just put up. So a new video, again, I'll drop the link if you don't already follow him. Just highlighting some of us up and coming new British pipe makers. Uh, very kind of him. As he says, it is good to keep uh, keep this pastime going. There's enough people try to shut us down as it is. So for us new pipe makers, it's fantastic that we've got you guys supporting us. Obviously, we don't make a ton of money out of this. It's because we have a real passion for making pipes and the pleasure that you guys give us from smoking them and letting them fulfil the journey is just that's priceless. So. Uh, Thanks for Johnny for that. Really appreciate it, mate. And the other thing we got is a package. Which has come from uh, GQ Tobaccos. So again, on a similar sort of thing is, it's fantastic to get all these backies that we've never tried from the States and import them in and run the customs gauntlets, always a bit exciting. Not so good if you get Colin, but always a bit exciting. But for stuff that we can get in this country, we need to be buying it from as local tobacconists. Now I'm, I'm actually got a bricks and mortar local tobacconist, so I tend to use GQ tobaccos, uh, my smoking shop and uh, the backy shop, the Black Swan. Uh, three great shops, faultless service on all of them. And uh, again, if we don't keep buying from us local tobacconists and just add these tins onto foreign orders, these guys will go under and then when we really need them, they'll be nowhere to be seen. So always try and buy from the UK the blends that you can. And great, get the blends that you can from abroad and uh, everyone will be happy. So let's see what we've ordered. Rough Rider. I've 
Oh, we got just three tins. <laughs> the pack, it, it's just ridiculous all, all the images on them, but uh, we have three St. James's Flake, a fantastic uh, vapor. Love that. They're all going in the cellar. Go a tin open them, go with that, which will keep me going quite a while with everything else I've got in rotation. So they'll be salad. Three pouches of all dark fired. That's probably like as strong as I get with tobaccos. I know it's not like strong, strong, but. Uh, it's uh, a good, proper, full-bodied bit of a nicket. So I'll be opening one of them, two for the cellar. Three brown flake. Uh, not sure if I've got one of these on go. So I might pop one of them, two for the cellar. And 250 grams of rich dark flake, which very lucky to get hold of. Absolutely love this. I am quite recent to it. I've always medium flake is the best Jermaine's for me, and it probably still is. But this is really, really close. Uh, I can see it probably taking over. Maybe we shall see. But that's for the seller because I've got some of this on go, which I can now dig into because I know that I've got some more ready to go and last of all we got some snuff some hedges uh, trying I'm gonna try and give the snuffer another go I used to snuff quite a lot to be honest uh, and it would always took snuff but seeing uh, Ross Briar Boyo, he's on Instagram, if you don't follow him on Instagram, hell of a chap, very eccentric, a real nice young man, he does an awful lot of snuffing now, and uh, these guys have just got that itch going again, and I'll probably have an itch when I start, start on this again. Uh, hopefully, I won't be sneezing everywhere. So that's about it guys, just really, wanted to thank everyone that supports us little pie makers, because uh, it's something that we absolutely really love doing. And uh, the the big companies are fantastic. You get some great factory pipes, but the little details that you get from one of our pipes, like the drilling, is more thought about with the tapering and the way that the airway funnels out to spread the spread the smoke to get a, a, a better draw. All these things, these factories don't do. And although the pipes look, obviously they look stunning, but uh, an artisan or, or like a handmade pipe just has a lot more work put into it. Actually like for, for your smoking benefit, not just for the looks. Uh, so I do personally think you get more from an handmade pipe uh, for, for your money. Uh, Hopefully, we're not too expensive, and uh, I don't. I I think we're good value for money, personally, and uh, people that buy them obviously do. Uh, I appreciate not everyone can afford, but you might be surprised at just how accessible we are.
is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. With a coffee. Perfect morning. Perfect morning break. Another quick look at this little chap. And I'll wrap it up there guys. That's 10, 11 minutes. Not so bad, eh? Whatever you're doing, probably most of you at work as it's Monday. But whatever you're doing, hopefully you'll get smoked later on. And uh, I hope you had a good weekend. And thank you for watching. I hope I haven't bored you too much. Please let me know if you appreciate it. Uh, put a thumbs down if you want a thumbs down. I'm not bothered. I'll still keep making them. Uh, well, whilst at least I get one person enjoying them. And uh, have a great day. Happy smokes, folks.